I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to convert vector equation of a line into scalar equation. The question here is write scalar equation of the line r equals to 2 comma 5 plus t times 1 minus 2. So let's rewrite this equation. So we are given r equals to 2 comma 5 so that's a position vector plus parameter t times direction vector 1 minus 2. So that is the vector equation. Now how do we convert this to scalar equation? Well, we'll go it in two steps. One, from this equation we can write the parametric equation or we could also write symmetric equation. Okay, so, so I'll show you the first method which is x is equals to 2 plus t that is the parametric equation and y equals to 5 minus 2t all right now using these two equations if we eliminate t we get scalar equation right so uh, what we can do here is from the first equation we can write x minus 2 equals to t right so that is what we get t as and we can substitute this value of t in our second equation. Do you see that? So what we get here is y equals to 5 minus 2 and instead of t, I'll write x minus 2. And now we can bring them together. So what we have here is 5, y equals to 5 minus 2 t, 2x plus 4. Bringing them together to the left side ensuring that coefficient of x is positive that is important right i mean so let me write first 2x right so we have 2x i'm bringing this here plus y 5 plus 4 is 9 when you take it to the left side it becomes minus 9 equals to 0 so that becomes the scalar or cartesian equation right so that is one way of doing it the other way of doing the same thing is we could write this as a symmetric equation, right? So we'll write this as symmetric equation. Symmetric equation is x minus x0. Normally, symmetric equation is, in this case, x minus 2 divided by the direction number 1 is equals to, I mean, uh, right, so it is direction number 1 is equal to y minus 5 divided by the direction number minus 2, right? So if you write symmetric equation, then you cross multiply. So you get minus 2 times x minus 2 equals to y minus 5, right? Now you bring all the terms together after applying distributive properties. We have minus 2x plus 4 equals to y minus 5 and since we want to keep this as positive, we'll take it to the right side. So we'll write this as 2x minus 4 plus 5 minus 5 equals to 0 or 2x plus y minus 9 equals to 0. So that is the second way of doing it. So, so from the vector equation, you could get to uh, symmetric equation or to parametric equation. And then you can write down this scalar equation. So, so a step like this will be involved. Adopt the method which you like most. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.